And then in Roseville this morning, a McDonald's employee was stabbed. You see the injuries on his face there. But should people be concerned? ABC 10's Van Tu is talking to police tonight. She joins us live from that McDonald's in Roseville. Well, Chris, when it comes to Sacramento County, at least the short answer is no. However, with these stabbings making the headlines, law enforcement says it is a reminder for people to stay alert if they encounter someone who is or could react violently. A Roseville McDonald's worker asked a homeless man to leave the restaurant for disrupting customers Tuesday. An argument ensued and the worker's wife said he ended up stabbed with a butter knife. He's just trying to do his job and for this to happen, it's not right. The latest in a string of stabbings in the region where the perpetrator was reportedly homeless. But are these violent encounters increasing? So certainly in Sacramento County, we're not seeing any trend like that or an uptick, if you will. Sergeant Tess Dieterding says it is important to remember that some members of the homeless community are dealing and living with issues that can create an unpredictable environment. We see issues related to mental health, um, alcoholism, drug abuse, things like that. It can seem like sometimes, hey, you know, um, there's more violence attributed to to that transient population. While Dieterding says it isn't cause for alarm, it is a learning opportunity. He's asked people, you know, don't approach volatile subjects. She says if neighbors or businesses find themselves in a similar situation, do not engage and instead call 911. You know, please be the eyes and ears for us. Give us the best information. Give us the best description. Where did this person go? And so that we can respond and find that person and evaluate what the situation is. She says many departments in the region have mental health experts who ride along with them to these calls. And it is a safer bet to have professionals come help than risk escalating a touchy situation. And she says also if people find themselves in a situation that is already violent, then people, of course, need to protect themselves. But try their best to get away, disengage and get a good description because engaging someone who is violent should be a last resort. Chris, some good perspective tonight from the sheriff's office van. We thank you for that update. And here's the deal. If you or someone you know is homeless, there are several local resources available for a list of those resources. Text homeless to 916-321-3310.